so I'm about to get my daughter from kindergarten uh, just was at work and yeah had the game on during work uh, watched you know the key scenes I've surely saw saw the ebb and flow thanks to the commentator so I had a good idea how Sweden Korea was going although I wasn't watching the entire game very attentively and that's gonna be uh, how it will be in uh, the next so during the work week let's put it that way um, I thought Korea came out firing uh, quick passes against the tall physical Swedes after about 20-25 minutes or so Sweden took over and in a way never looked bad th back threatened a few times could have gotten a penalty I think the right call was made in the first half because the Korean was playing the ball um, but no one would complain if this was actually called a penalty and say uh, Sweden had quite some chances to score uh, got unlucky I think it was an amazing save by the South Korean goalkeeper prior to the penalty situation um, that should have been a goal for Sweden for sure and then yeah uh, second half Sweden controlled uh, made the physical presence known Korea was always the faster side but Sweden was better overall and so Sweden uh, got then a penalty via VAR I have no idea why the referee didn't give it but I think it was down to uh, instructions to let the game flow and then they will be told whether there is a penalty to be given or not and if that was the case then the, uh, then the referee uh, did well but overall I think this was the first time that I was not so happy with the referees uh, this time around we still have to get used to uh, the way they handle VAR here I think it's actually a good way it doesn't disrupt uh, the flow of the game too much well gotta get my daughter will get home but uh, we'll have a busy evening so I'm not sure how much I will see of the other two games uh, I will still try to make my videos but it might be tomorrow after watching highlights and so on that I get to it let me know in the comments what you thought about that game uh, what do you think about Sweden and Korea I think Sweden played Swedish very solid and you know not exciting uh, they share the same colors as Brazil but uh, they're not uh, they're the exact opposite of Brazil in many ways um, so that was that Korea I think is fast but I think they're just not fit at least for this group at the World Cup uh, didn't show too much danger they have to speed but then I don't think they have much more than that uh, maybe in four years they will show better well again let me know in the comments what you thought about this match what you expect from the upcoming matches and I'll talk to you soon bye so uh, while I was watching or I am still watching Belgium play Panama and beating up on Panama I realized I didn't talk in my previous video about the Jersey matchup between Sweden and South Korea which Sweden looked like Sweden although I'm not a big fan of those jerseys I really wish they would have used the Mexico template um, but I was surprised that South Korea played in all white well the contrast is okay I still think if you really want to go for contrast why don't let them play with red and white pants I don't know I understand red and black pants will not work with Sweden but red and white pants I don't see a problem with that and why wouldn't you do that and you have an even higher contrast so that I was surprised that they did it that way I know it has happened Brazil is frequently playing against white opponents but yesterday they were playing so nicely against Switzerland in red that I was really disappointed to see South Korea in the white jerseys although those are the better looking jerseys so from a look it was alright but I think from contrast and the overall uh, image of the game I really thought that uh, red jerseys would have been better well, let me know what you thought about that and talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.